Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Maverick Baking, home of baking recipes, reviews, vlogs and all sorts of other foodie content. It's lovely to have you here. Now today we are venturing our way into another junk food review. We're talking about a brand new product, one that's been requested a couple of times on the channel and it's been popping up all over social media for a couple of weeks now. We're talking about the brand new Smarties Buttons. We have a milk chocolate variety and a white chocolate variety. Now these were both a pound each. I found them in my local Sainsbury's but I've also seen them in Asda as well. So hopefully there should be plenty of opportunity for you lovely people to try them if you want to or if I recommend that they're worth your money which I'm not 100% shoot on, but <laughs> that's what we're here for. So they're both quite small bags, I must say. It's nice to see two different flavors, and it's nice to see Nestle putting out a new flavor of Smarties. It's something we haven't kind of seen in a while. The only kind of new Smarties products we've had recently have been actual Smarties with just different colored shells. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if these are kind of worth existing. <laughs> yeah, they're quite kind of small bags. The milk chocolate is 90 grams, and the white chocolate, for some reason, is five grams less at 85 grams. A um, little bit of a rip off, especially considering that the chocolate itself is most likely to be very cheap and a little bit trashy because it's Nestle. So just what are these Smarties buttons? They are milk and white chocolate pieces with mini Smarties. Each button is approximately 24% Smarty, which means that we should get a kind of decent chocolate to shell ratio. Perfect for those of us who are actually only eating the Smarties for the chocolate and don't really give a rat's arse about the shell. <laughs> so I think we're going to start with the milk chocolate buttons and let's see what this kind of classic flavor is all about. So what I have seen with these Smarties buttons is that they're a lot more kind of substantial than your standard chocolate button, in width at least, not in diameter as we can see. Um, they're also not the prettiest things to look at. So, <laughs> so this is kind of the size. When I say substantial, I obviously don't mean the kind of width of these buttons because they are fairly kind of dinky but you can see that they are quite chunky in their thickness so you can see there are a couple of smarties sneaking out on top there it looks like we have a brown and a green one here so obviously not the most appetizing colors there are some that have some other colors poking through but even then i honestly can't really say that these are the most kind of visually appealing chocolate because, as I said, the milk chocolate is very cheap and generic, it has not been tempered well whatsoever. It's cloudy, it's dull, it looks like skin that needs a good going over with some glycolic acid, to be honest. Um, it's also gotten roughed up because they're not individually wrapped or anything. So they don't look great. It's not a great start. But as we know from this channel, as we know from my blog, as we know from most food generally, the prettiest food isn't always the tastiest food. So let's see if these Smarties buttons are worth your money. They're not terrible. Okay, let's talk about this chocolate. It's hyper sweet, as expected. The main ingredient is sugar, and the first thing you taste, and the last thing you taste after you swallow it, is sugar. Sweetness, and that kind of cloying back of your tongue sensation when there's a lot of sugar going on. The chocolate itself doesn't have much of a distinctive taste. It's a very milky chocolate. It's relatively creamy. Some of the releases we've had um, recently from Nestle, for example, with the Milky Bar, the Milky Bar mix-ups and some of the other Milky Bar products have had this horrible kind of chalky texture. While this obviously is never going to be the most velvety, soft, melting, chocolate experience. It's got a semi-decent creaminess in comparison to some of Nestle's recent releases. Um, the Smarties, though, I must say, do get kind of lost. You get a little bit of crunch in the texture with the sugar shell, but you do lose that distinctive flavor from the sugar shell. In the same way that M&Ms have a specific flavor, and the same way that Cadbury's mini eggs have a specific flavor, Smarties do have that kind of specific flavor. You might only remember it from childhood because I don't know how well they sell, especially among adults these days, but there's something about this that kind of makes the Smarties themselves a little bit redundant, which is a shame considering it's a Smarties product, but overall, they're not terrible. Let's move on to the white ones before we give these a rating though. Okay, so the white chocolate Smarties buttons. I imagine these are gonna be pretty much exactly the same, just in, uh, in white chocolate instead. 
groundbreaking, eh? <laughs> so let's take a few of these out. These, I think, look much more appealing. The colours kind of pop out a little bit more. And as always with white chocolate, it makes it less kind of noticeable when the chocolate is of very poor quality. So you can see there's less of that kind of chalky appearance. The colours do definitely stand out more and look a bit more kind of appealing and attractive. Equally, the kind of lack of shine doesn't stand out as much on white chocolate. So these are much more forgiving on appearance straight away. The smell is good. It smells like a cheap, trashy, very milky, very sweet white chocolate. Let's see if the white chocolate Smarties buttons are worth a buy. Again, decent, but do they taste like Smarties? No. The flavor of these, Reminds me of those really cheap white chocolate discs with the sprinkles on them. I believe they're called Jazzies or Jazzles. That's what this tastes like to me. So the Smarties themselves inside this are just your normal kind of milk chocolate mini Smarties. They aren't a white chocolate version, which I think is fine. Um, the white chocolate tastes pretty similar to Milky Bar, a generic, creamy, super, super sweet white chocolate to the point that even after eating kind of four or five of those, I'm, I'm done, you know? The Smarties flavor is completely non-existent. The only thing you taste is the white chocolate with a little bit of crunch from the shell, which honestly isn't a bad thing because I think all of us, even some of us just in secret, do like a super trashy, super sweet white chocolate, but it's a bit pointless, really, when you break it down. So overall, I'm a little bit kind of conflicted with these. They're very cheap. You know, they're only a pound a bag, so they're definitely not setting you back too much and they're definitely not setting up any kind of expectations that aren't being met, really, in their quality. The only kind of qualm I have with them is that the Smarties in these Smarties buttons are pretty much nowhere to be found. The texture is there, but the flavour really is lost. I don't know if that's because the chocolate is too thick. I don't know if it's because they're using mini Smarties instead of standard Smarties. I don't know if these would maybe be better in giant buttons or almost if they could sell them in chunks like they do with the Yorkie Chunks bag. They kind of are what they say on the pack. They're kind of cheap. They're kind of good. They're a three out of five. If you like Smarties, if you just enjoy a cheap chocolate or novelty, maybe pick them up, see what you think. And if you do, let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, I definitely wouldn't rush out to get these. They're nothing new, they're nothing groundbreaking. In fact, they're a little bit kind of meh. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a big, fat, juicy thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. It would be lovely for you to stick around. In the meantime, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely afternoon and I will see you for the next one.